Do you have this in your life? Or maybe you have this in your life. Or maybe, like some people, you have this in your life. Or maybe you have all three. Hi everybody, Robert Jones back in the cooking kitchen with you today, telling you how to do a bunker buster recipe because in the age of Rona, we all have too much rice now because everybody went out on week one and started hoarding. And if you're like me, you gotta try all the different kinds of rice. So yeah, um, yeah. So uh, not only that, I have this one too. So if you're like me, you got a lot of rice sitting around your house and Costco isn't taking it back. Not that I would take it back anyway, but I want to show you how to use up some of this rice uh, either now or post-apocalyptic or maybe you just want some good old fashioned comfort food like grandma used to make. Or maybe your grandma didn't used to make this, but since everybody's baking bread and learning all the home activities again, here's a really good comforting recipe that uh, most people like. I won't say everybody, but most people like. It's rice pudding. Rice pudding is delicious. It's basically rice made into a custard with milk and eggs and some sugar and some flavoring. It's super, super easy. This is a great way to use up rice. Uh, you can make it fresh rice made. Make it fresh rice made. Make it with fresh rice. You don't have to use water. You can cook the rice originally in milk for more richness. But today I'm gonna to show you how to use rice that's already been cooked. Maybe you got delivery, you have some extra. You made some extra last night for dinner or the other day or whatever else. I'm gonna show you how to use it up. Anyway, uh, this recipe can be used with white rice. It can be used with pearl rice, the Japanese style sushi rice. It can be used with cow rose, basmati, Thai rice, uh, what else? Jasmine rice, I think is what we're using today. And you could even use it uh, with brown rice. So if you have brown rice, I just recommend cooking it a little bit longer uh, till it gets to the getting kind of soft stage because otherwise um, the custard doesn't soak in and it doesn't taste so good. Any hoodle, let me show you a storage idea for how I store rice normally. So uh, this is a one gallon container uh, for water. Uh, I dry these out, clean them, and then uh, take the label off, and then I put the rice in here. So sometimes when you get the like the three pound bag at the grocery store, I also, if you can see, I cut the recipe, I put it in there. Um, I know how to cook this, but if anybody else is in my kitchen, then I have the recipe in there. They can just tip it over, pull the recipe out, read it, put it back in the bottle, and it's specific to this type of rice. Oh, it's also Cinco de Mayo when I'm filming this, so arriba! Anyway, um, so yeah, we're gonna be using a jasmine rice today. I've already cooked the rice. It's in the pot, it's ready to go. So we're gonna show you how to do that. So let me show you what I do with these. So yeah, these water bottles I think are really handy. Um, in my kitchen, I happen to have some drawers that they fit in. So in the cupboard down here, boop -ba -doop, pull this out. Check it out. They fit super nice in here. Just drop in the rice. Look at that fits nicely in there. Uh, got a little extra storage in the back, but uh, even if you don't have a slide out drawer like this, fitting them in the cupboard, you can also put them on their side. So just in case you're curious, uh, this is brown rice and brown rice. This is some dry corn used for pozole and things like that. That's popcorn. That's some uh, Peruvian beans. That is some coffee. That's just whole coffee. Keeps really nice. Some sugar and the rice we just put in and just a uh, some, oh, that's that's turbinado sugar and white sugar. So there you go, you see how easy that is. And super cheap storage. Today we are going to be making a double batch. So I have four eggs total. If you're making just a single batch, you only need two, two eggs for this recipe. And since we're gonna be making a custard, every good custard starts with eggs and also with milk. So we're just gonna crack the eggs into here. Also, if you overbought on eggs, this is a good way to use up some eggs. There's always a, a good way to use up eggs, if you ask me. And we're gonna whisk these up. We just wanna get them broken up and combined a little bit. Don't, don't have to go crazy. Okay, then we're gonna measure out uh, three cups of whole milk. Now, I don't have whole milk. I have a regular milk and I have some uh, half and half. So we're gonna make our own by doing two thirds regular 
So we want three cups total. So here's two cups of milk. And here's one cup of half and half. Or you could do all half and half if you want to get crazy. Make it a little bit richer. And then we're, again, we're just going to put this back in here. Mix that up and set that aside. Also got brown sugar and some salt. So I'm just going to put a big, uh, nice pinch in there. So maybe a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm using kosher. And then we have some brown sugar. We're going to be using a, a half a cup, which uh, it was going to be a quarter cup per recipe. So half a cup total for me. Make sure you pack it to get the right measure. So there's one half quarter. Uh, if you don't have brown sugar, you can totally use white sugar. I just love the flavor of brown sugar. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. There's a nice pack. Again, just get the sugar mixed in. It doesn't have to get crazy. You can see our mixture turned a little bit brown there. Now, if you wanted a really white rice pudding, you could totally use white sugar. Uh, I, like I said, I just like the brown sugar flavor. All right, boom. And then we have our rice. This is a jasmine rice. I just like it. Uh, it has a nice flavor. It has a nice fragrance, almost a floral note to it. And we're just gonna scoop out three cups of this, or if you're going to do a regular, a cup and a half. And it's a little cold, it's a little stiff. So you just kinda wanna do it like you do brown sugar packet, so about one cup there, two cups. If your measurement isn't precise, it's okay. This is not baking. It is going to bake, but it's not baking. All right, three cups. If you have a little less or a little more, it doesn't really matter. It's all gonna bake into the custard. All right. Then just take your mixture and just want to mix it around. You want to make sure that the rice is broken up. You don't want any chunks in there. Okay, we can set that aside. And then I just have a plethora of these dishes. These are great. They come uh, with uh, lids that can go right in the fridge, but they can also be put in the oven to bake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these out and I'm just going to spray them so that we don't have sticking. Now you can use butter, you can use coconut. Oh, also, if you don't have regular, you don't want to use regular milk, you can use almond milk or oat milk or something like that as well. So I'd say get these really well greased, just so stuff doesn't stick. And as I was saying about the different uh, quote unquote milks, almond milk I hear works really well for this. I haven't tried it. Uh, oat milk, you know, whatever you like. Rice milk probably would be even great too. All right. Now, since raccoon does not like raisins, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this in half. I'm going to make half with raisins and half without raisins. I know it's a shame. Not everybody likes raisins. Just check it one more time. All right. Then we're just going to divide this in half. Now, the reason I'm doing it with a ladle is I want to make sure that I get the rice that's at the bottom here. So it's even throughout the different bowls. Get it all. Okay. So I didn't know exactly how many of these we're gonna need, but it looks like we only needed two. So those are easily washed. Okay. And my camera wasn't recording, but here's where we are. So all I did was I just sprinkled some cinnamon over the top of this one and this one. So cinnamon is uh, my jam. I love some cinnamon. And then I just put some Wilton sprinkles on this one and kind of made a disco party for the raccoon. Uh, that way I also know which one is uh, the one without the raisins. So that's all I did. I just sprinkled some cinnamon and put some sugar for fun. Then I want to make sure I get all the stuff off the rim because I don't want it to burn in the oven or stick, because that's not yummy. So we'll just wipe that off. And especially this one, because we don't want the sugar to burn. And 
And then I have a baking tray. I'm just gonna set these on just in case they spill over because cleaning egg out of your oven is never, is never fun. So there you go. Okay, let's put these in the oven. We're gonna cook these at 375 for about 45 minutes until the, uh, the egg is jiggly. So it should be like a custard, like a flan if you're used to that. I'm not gonna cook these in a bon marie because I don't really care that much. And I would rather have it get a little crispier or a little bit drier just so the pudding is nice. So, all right, let's pop these in the oven. Oh, oh, zooming in for you guys. Look at that. Those look amazing. Okay, so here's what we're looking for. So it's lightly, it's lightly jiggly because it's a custard still. It's definitely firm all the way across. And we definitely know which one's the disco. So it's been 45 minutes. I'm gonna take these out and we're gonna let these cool. Oh man, you guys, I am feeling Super proud about these right now. They look delicious. All right, I am feeling super proud about these, you guys. I think they look amazing. Uh, so I've let them cool down just a little bit. They are still warm, I can still feel them. But I'm gonna cut into them anyway, because I want to taste. So excited. So uh, this is the plain one with just the disco topping sugar on it. And this is the one with the uh, cinnamon and raisins. So let's just go for it. Let's just get a little, a little scoop of this. Put it in a cup. That custardy goodness. All right, we'll just leave that there. And raisiny goodness. Get a couple more raisins on top. Oh, look at that. Rice pudding, you guys, I'm so excited. So I cut it open here, you can see the raisins in there. It looks really good, it's nice and firm, it's still hot, it's still steaming, can you see it? Yes, all right, let me show you the other one. And here's our disco party one. I wanted to be able to see the pudding inside there, just the colors on top. It is the moment you've been waiting for. Woo! Okay, you guys, we got two, both of them here. We've got the Disco Party pink one here, and we've got the traditional with the raisins. So let's try the, the Disco Party one first. Um, there is no taste involved. It's just a colored sugar, you guys. So that's all you need to know about that. It smells ricey and eggy. It smells delicious. All right, let's take a little look. It's, it's a little thick. It's all right. I'm just concerned about being hot. Mmm. Mm. It's not too sweet. It's very lightly sweetened. In fact, if I would, um, if I were to make this to my taste again in the future, I think I would add a little more sugar to it. But um, it tastes delicious. So let's get a little more of the top where the sugar is added. Mmm. Yeah. I don't know if your grandma made this for you, but in the time of Kofifi, this is a down home and lovely dessert for home time. All right, let's try the one with the raisins. I am all about raisins. So again, I'm just concerned that it's hot. Mmm. Mmm. That's nice. The raisins give it a nice sweetness. Um, now this is gonna be pretty thick. Mine is gonna be pretty thick. If you want it a little thinner when you're eating it, you could pour a little bit of milk over it, soften it up, make it more squishy. Mmm. The raisins are nice. They're plumped up, absorb some of the moisture, and they give a nice sweetness to that. I think that's the nice thing about the raisins is it makes the bites variable. So you get one bite with raisin, one without, and when you do get the raisin, you get the nice sweetness of the gravy. So there you go. All right, you guys. Bunker Bustin, uh, trying to help you out in this time of pandemic and hope that I have helped you in some ways. Uh, use up what you got in the garage or where else you're hoarding your stuff out. And if the pandemic is over, just make this on a Sunday for your family or friends. You'll enjoy it.
Um, I could also see this served with some whipped cream or a liqueur like Bailey's. I could also see this uh, with no sugar, add some saffron maybe or some spices just to make a savory type custard, which would also be a good thing too. Uh, serve it over milk for breakfast. It's up to you. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this rice pudding. You can see it's super easy. It only takes you 10 minutes in the kitchen and then a little wait time in the oven. All right, you guys, I'm Robert Jones. If you like this video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Come on back for more with a subscribe and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye. Arriba!